What's up, buddy? Yeah? Should I have quinoa or fruit for breakfast? Why, hello there. So I figured I'd do a little what I eat in a day video. It's been a while. Last time I did it was that seven day series. I think I just turned everybody off veganism and that's what I look to do with this video as well. I'm on a bit of a, an elimination diet. Just figuring out certain foods that bother me. They're very subtle. Oatmeal makes me tired. Switched it out with quinoa so I'm trying to figure out other foods and discover things that bother me so let me show you how I do it this is breakfast today so we got some quinoa and figs I threw some figs in there that's so figalicious I eat it right out of the pot cuz I'm ghetto fabulous I know it's not the most beautiful thing you ever seen in your life I get it you could throw some colors in there but I don't have any colors I don't have any so this is what I'm eating for breakfast, and I'll see you at lunch. Quail eggs in a can. I'm, I'm just so tempted to eat these. Jesus, give me the strength to walk away. Give me the strength. I, I don't know if I can do it on my own. So I just went to Loblaws. I never shop there because it's too expensive, but it's the only place very close to me that has like vegan treat things. So we got the organic pancake mix. Pancakes are fun to have sometimes. You fry them up with a little coconut oil and maple syrup. My goodness. We got some black rice. Dr. Gregor just made a video saying black rice is great and I saw it. You got me. I know you work for the black rice industry. You got me, you son of a bitch. And golden fillets. They're like fish fillets, gardein, but they're vegan. I mean, the, these are so processed. It's looking at the ingredients, I'm like, oh my God, why am I buying this? So I'm about to have lunch. Just gonna be simple pigeon peas and cauliflower. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's my big pot of pigeon peas. I like them because they're one of the lowest protein beans you can get and I'm gonna make a video soon on the dangers of consuming too much protein. All these people asking where you get your protein, are you fucking stupid? You can get too much, that's my biggest concern. So that's coming. There it is, three cups of pigeon peas with some cauliflower, a little bit of real salt, and Holly Brown Fit would be absolutely ashamed. I've reverted to my old ways. So here's dinner, and I got a little trick for you. If you don't want to add salt to your food, this is like the saltiest dinner you could ever make without salt. We got quinoa with nori and Swiss chard, boiled in a celery stock that I made. And I added a little bit of coconut oil to it. Celery and Swiss chard are like the highest sodium vegetables on earth other than beet greens. I'll never forget that one person correcting me when I made that video. They're like, beet greens are higher, you know. Fuck. So that's it. That's what I'm eating today. It's not much food. I think I eat less than Vegan Geezer's four-year-old son. I do. I know I do. Why? I mean, he's taller than me and he has a lot more muscle mass. I just, I eat what I can. So I'm not one of these carb uppers that just stuff it in till I bloat. I like to just eat when I'm hungry, eat till I'm full. Yeah, that made sense. That's it. Did I say eat till I'm hungry? Eat when I'm full? Cause that wouldn't have made sense. On a side note, it's been brought to my attention that that article about Prince with the yak milk and the Dunkaroos was a fucking April Fool's joke. I fell for it. You fell for it. We all fell for it. I didn't, I'm not that observant. I wouldn't have noticed. Even though it said the date, I didn't see it. 
but it just said like 04, 01, 2011. My mind doesn't click for shit like that. I'm not that observant. I can't tell. So I fucked up. I messed up. I don't know what Prince ate. Nobody does. So my apologies. I admit it. April Fools. Ha ha. I, that's why I hate April Fools articles. How is that thing still allowed to be on the internet? God damn it. Okay, last thing before I get out of here. Do you know KSI? He's a YouTuber, very popular, 12 million plus subs. He's really funny. And I'm subscribed to him. He made a video. He's coming out with a music video and he wants people to like dance to it, send him little clips. So I made a clip. I'm gonna show it to you at the end of this video. So hopefully I make it into his video with the triplets. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thumb up the video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.